Hey guys, it's Megan back for another midweek vlog. I'm really, really loving doing like two vlogs a week and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I've just been feeling inspired lately. Um, and I just did a like YouTube live during my lunch break and I like was like choking and dying on my own like saliva or something and I still feel like I have like a tickle in my throat so that was like the worst thing that I've had happen to me while being on live because I couldn't be like <coughs> like still talking you know so we got through it um but um yeah I just wanted to start out this vlog here I'm going over to my parents tonight but it's just my sister and my mom because my dad's on a golf trip with my uncle which is really fun uh, um <coughs> oh my gosh I'm going to choke again and I wanted to share with you guys my eyeshadow because I love it. I use Leora's palette for the first time today. This is the Beyond Words palette by Ofra and Leora. And I use the purple shadows on the top row. And then I topped them off with this gorgeous um, JD Glow Cosmetics. Actually, two of them. Let me get the names for you this is called lavender i did that kind of all over the lid um on top of the other purples and then to really spice it up i use this one called good god like g-a-w-d which is the bluish iridescence and it is just stunning and these are so high quality these jd glows um and i just love them so i really really like how that turned out because i got this sweater from target last night target is like doing major clearance and hopefully they still are when i post this but i got this um like oversized sweater and it's like a dusty lavender color which is my shade like this is my color and so it really inspired me to do kind of a purpley bluish um eyeshadow look and I really really like how it turned out and I also got this clip from Target but I don't know how to do my hair in this like whenever I do it it just doesn't seem right or like maybe it's just not a good one like it doesn't have enough grip or something but here let me like try to show you and the other possibility is i just don't know how to do my hair so i had it like this earlier just like half up half down like i can do that with a smaller clip but it works but then it gets loose so then i tried to do it like i don't know how you're supposed to do it like i tried to do it like this oh my gosh i keep dropping it it's like a bad omen or something so I tried to do it like this, but then like all my hair is just like, <laughs> you know, kind of just like crazy. But I was like, don't people do it like down? Like, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like they put their hair like this and then they put it down. Maybe it's like that. Is that it? No, because then that seems weird to have that like flopping. So basically, I just have no idea. Okay, what about that? I like tucked that other part up. That's like potentially. I have no idea. I need to look up how it's supposed to look and maybe like a tutorial but like I definitely felt like an idiot when I was trying to do like use this clip today because I was like isn't it supposed to be easy like I just felt very old and just not with the times I'm sitting on the floor in the front room Mocha came to visit um <laughs> because I oh she's sliding on my leggings are you okay <laughs> um because I got a bunch of packages today and I used something in them 
to touch up my makeup and I'm so excited because I finally picked up some things from REM Beauty from Ariana Grande. This is the Metallic Gel Eyeshadow in Touch and oh my god, it's incredible. And so I use that under my lower lash line and in my inner corner as like a like lower liner and then like followed the wing of my um eyeliner and then i also got the shade affirmation which i can't wait to put all over my lid this was the color i knew for sure i wanted because it's like a metallic lavender type of shade oh my gosh every time i watch like someone's tutorial or instagram video using it i like die over it it is so stunning oh my god monkey's sitting right here Monkey is so sweet. Um, but the other stuff that I got, like makeup wise, I'm going to save for a haul video. But I hope um, by the time I post this, my mom's birthday should, well, mom, just don't watch the rest of this. But um, for my mom's birthday upcoming, I decided to get some stuff for like decorating the house because her and my dad are going on vacation and so I just thought it'd be fun to and it's her 60th birthday so I wanted to spice things up so well first these stickers aren't related to it but I am giving her and my sister some of these stickers I got them at Target last night these are just the cutest little puffy kawaii stickers with like different foods animals um and then like some different things over here oh my gosh so um me and Alyssa each took like a section like a top row um the top row and the bottom row are the same so I'm just gonna divide those and give them each to my sister and my mom but I got a bunch of BTS um, party supplies. So uh, let's see. All this stuff, I can't even see it. I also got these balloons that have like the finger heart like K-pop stars do. So let me just open this stuff so I can show you. So I got these plates. Oh man, Mocha's going to want to sniff everything. Um, And I've always loved this picture of... BTS and it even has some more pictures but these are just like cake plates this is map of the soul persona so I got a stack of those and it came with like little I don't know if these are stickers oh, they are oh my god I didn't know it would come with like oh, these stickers oh my gosh this is like truly for a BTS fan I got these banners and I don't know if this one says happy birthday. I got a few different ones. This one looks like it's just like pictures of them. But like when you spread it out, there's like a lot more pictures. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh my God, look at Suga. Oh, I love that picture. What do you think, Moki? What do you think? <laughs> and then this came with BTS stickers too. How incredible. So putting all those extras over there. Mocha's checking this out because it came with a million things. So this was like a party like set. Like this has everything you need. So it came with a sticker pack and look how cute these are of them. Like they're like really like cut out and stuff. It almost looks like confetti or something. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then we have these which are like cake toppers or like cut cupcake toppers and then there's like straws i'm not sure but um oh my gosh i love this so much um and then this is another banner and oh, i can't see what it all is but i think this one might have been the one that said happy birthday uh, let's see and then I this set also came with balloons and they say BTS and love yourself um, And it's like all kind of the same color scheme And then this is the card that I got for my mom from me and my sister and so it's like a like fan art um, Card of the BTS guys and it says ain't nobody butter than you like their song butter 
and I, yeah it's just blank on the inside so we'll just write something to her but um yeah my mom's gonna have a bts themed 60th birthday party and she's gonna be so freaked because she has no idea <laughs> you know how i was going insane <laughs> in one of my last vlogs not sure what to put on this table well that night i'm pretty sure i ended up ordering this lamp that I really, really wanted when I was first like looking at furniture, but I didn't have a place for it. And I love it. I'm trying to adjust the lighting so you guys can see it because it's pretty bright. Um, but it is perfect. Like it adds the perfect amount of height for this space. And let me just turn it off um, so I can show you guys what it really looks like so it's a like three pillar or whatever light and uh the light bulbs are just in there so these are kind of like the shade and i absolutely absolutely love it for this space like it's the perfect kind of like modern touch i think so i put my one vase that I had um here and I got some new like stems for like to try it out um and I really really like that so now I feel like this side and that side have like a similar color scheme and also like a similar visual weight like I was trying to accomplish I think I might bring this picture down a little more but yeah, I'm super happy with how that turned out. And then I have another addition for my bedroom. This um, I just put together yesterday. This is a garment rack that I got on Amazon and I loved that it was gold and white. That was like perfect. And the best part is that it has these shelves and then it has like a base. So, oh my gosh, what's going on, Moak? What, is there something in your eye? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it freaked me out. Um, so you can like put shoes or something down there. It's not just like on the floor. Um, not that I wouldn't put my shoes on the floor, but you know what I mean. Like it just looks like a more finished and all. I just have a few things hanging up there that I got at Target. And I got this um, jewelry organizer from Target last night. Um, Alyssa found this. And I was like, I've been looking for something for my necklaces. And then uh, down here, you could put like rings or earrings. And it's a dark, um, like blue velvet, which goes with my color scheme here. The only problem is I need my dad's drill because these are just right now loose. I didn't put the um, screws in because there's no holes in the shelves. It was like so crazy. So I'm gonna need his help, but I actually ordered a second one to go here. So I'm gonna have this one and then I'm going to kind of have it the inverse on the side and have like the shelves, I think. Um, like, I don't know. I still need to figure it out. But um, that door opens in, so I don't have to worry about it hitting it. So that's kind of perfect. And I don't have a, like, large amount of closet space, as you guys know. So I'm super, super excited about it. And I just love how it looks. And I also got a order from Pink Lily, which I've only ordered from maybe, like, once or twice. Um, but... If any of this looks good, I'll show you guys. It's like very hit or miss, I feel like. Um, but I liked some of their pieces. Um, so I think I'm just gonna try them on now and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I would never ever wear this out of the house. Like, this skirt needs to be like all the way up here. And even still, I don't think I would. I was so scared this shirt like wouldn't even fit at all and I'm standing far away <laughs> for a reason. Um, it just doesn't fit right like unless you have it like all the way down here which like I would never most likely show that much skin. I have no idea. I have no idea. Like I kind of like it but that, then at the same time I'm like I don't like it so 
feel like if the shirt was a little longer maybe like this but then this first like section is like tight this seam like i feel like there should have been like another thing like the skirt is just like the problem but the shirt is also the problem so i hope i can return this because i doubt i would ever 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 in a million years wear this <laughs> Oh, I realize what I feel like. I feel like I'm playing dress up. Like I would never wear this in my life. <laughs> um, yeah, nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a winner. Oh my God, I love this. It's this, um, it's actually a bathing suit, but I got it, I mean, I could wear it as a bathing suit, but I got it as a shirt, like a bodysuit because I loved this crisscross design and it's super stretchy, like it's a bathing suit. And then the back is just straight straps and I don't know where I got that bruise, like right on my um, wing bone or what is that called, shoulder blade? <laughs> Um, so it's straight straps in the back, but then it's this crisscross and this is like the most flattering cut on my body shape. I love like when it comes high up and then, um, like my shoulders are bare. I just love that so much. And then at the stomach, there's also this sheer paneling, um, but it's not like crazy or anything like it just looks so pretty and it's definitely more like a sexy look but not like inappropriate or anything like it's very sophisticated sexy and I love that I love white for summer but I think this would be beautiful all year round and it just has so much interest to it. Like I've never seen anything like this in my life and I just put this on with sweat shorts. Um, but yeah, you could wear shorts with it or a skirt and then just take them off, jump into the pool <laughs> when you're at your pool parties or whatever and you'll just look like so freaking amazing. Um, I really love this. This is my absolute favorite piece and yeah like definitely if you have bigger boobs it like is more like lower like the see-through but it's not like showing anything so oh my gosh I love this. I love this so much. I started this book last night and I didn't want to go to sleep because it's so good and it's creepy as well but I just wanted to keep reading it that's how freaking good this is and I've read two other books by someone St. James and loved them but at this point this is her best like I'm just so in shock at how like detailed it is and so many of you guys have told me this is your favorite as well so I don't know what took me so long to get it, but um, I remember seeing this cover in the past, but I just didn't think I would like this type of book because it's kind of like creepy and like kind of a ghost story, but it is super, super good. And the quote from Li Riley Sager on the front says it all, deliciously creepy, chilling. And I love Riley Sager's books. I've read all of his books. Um, and I would definitely say if you like his vibe you would also love Simone St. St. James um so yeah love 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 this so far and I'm only I mean I read quite a bit last night but yeah still have a lot to go I'm so excited I feel like you can see the under eyeliner better in this lighting I love it I love it so much I'm having a little snack I got these um Reese's Mallow Top Peanut Butter Cups Marshmallow Flavor Cream with Milk Chocolate and my first bite I was like oh my god life changing because it's almost like a fluffernutter sandwich oh my god one of my favorite things ever but I just never have it anymore and then there was a little bit of like a weird like aftertaste sort of so then I finished it and it tastes good but I'm not obsessed like I don't want to go back and like eat more um immediately 
So I'm gonna take those over to my parents and have them try it, uh, my mom and my sister. And you might notice, maybe you won't, I don't know. I might not have noticed either, but I have different AirPods. Um, I purchased the AirPod Pros, which I love. They're a little bit shorter and they have more of a like cushion. These are just like the fully plastic ones without like a cushion and our company sent us all AirPods like for our sales meeting, like as a little thank you. And I was like, what the heck? Like normally they send us like Last year they sent us like a plant. Like they don't send bougie shit, you know? So when I opened it, I was so in shock. It like freaked me out. Like I was like, is this for real? Like is this a prank? Like what is going on? But they were AirPods. So now I have these and I have my AirPod Pros and I feel like AirPods die really fast. So if you're gonna use them like all day for work or like, whatever you use them for, you most likely need two pairs, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like I totally understand. It's absolutely ridiculous. And thankfully that it doesn't happen to me too much because I don't have that, that, that many meetings. But um, I'm glad to have a second pair is all I'm saying. So that was pretty cool. And I mean, they aren't horrible, the ones without the cushion, but I still prefer the AirPod Pros. Um, they just like feel more secure in my ears, but these are fine, like walking around the house and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so I'm just listening to YouTube on them now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, our gibbets came. We got the Lisa Frank gibbets for our Lisa Frank Crocs. Well, I got Lisa Frank Crocs, but Alyssa also got a pack of the Lisa Frank gibbets, which are like the things that you can put in the holes. And then this set is like so perfect as well for them. These are like 90s, early 2000s, like metal ones. So it's like angel, the yin yang sign. I love this like bedazzled um, butterfly. So I'm going to put them on my shoes and see how even more crazy we can get these. Alyssa has these awesome platform and Sherpa. fur, yeah, Sherpa ones from Poshmark for like, $18 yeah. or something. So cheap and I really want to get the platform ones. So she's gonna put her Lisa Frank gibbets on. Mm -hmm. That's and why I, I got them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's perfect. Them. And then I put some of mine on and there's not a lot of room because they don't come off like all these extra ones, but they're still crazy, love it. All right, here they are. Oh yeah. What do you think, Mocha? They're amazing. <laughs> Not even a lick? There you go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the lick of approval. <laughs> we need to get her some Puppy Crocs. <laughs> so I totally forgot to vlog while I was at my parents' house, but I surprised my mom and sister with these Vogue Korea BTS magazines. I had them shipped to their house and so I opened the box when I got there. So I really wanted this cover. I think it's just absolutely incredible. It's obviously in black and white and then the Vogue and BTS at the bottom are in color but it's also like, I'm assuming like a picture or something of a uh, Louis Vuitton like bag or pattern or something. So it's just super like detailed and dynamic and amazing. And I just really wanted this one for the cover. Oh my gosh, look who's coming. Look who's coming. <laughs> you look like a little seal. <laughs> Whenever she puts her ears back, I feel like she looks like a seal. But um, basically, I got one of each of the covers. There was three different covers. And then, of course, it has the magazine inside. And it's a really, really, like, detailed, like, interviews of all of them. Uh, photo shoots of all of them individually. It's just 
pretty amazing and they have it in Korean and then they also have the interview in English which I think is so awesome and I didn't expect that um so I'm super happy with this purchase I got them from Mercari but you can find them on like other Korean like kind of merch websites but I just love this and I love it with my color scheme in this room and my bedroom so I want to put that somewhere prominent and then Moko was just sniffing through this I have been ordering books from thriftbooks.com and um hi Moki and um so I got some of those in the mail they were like shipped to my <laughs> old address so I got this series, which Danielle recommended to me. Let me try to find the other one. So I'm not sure exactly at this very moment which they go in order. Like, what was, what's the first? What's the second? What's the third? But um, it's the Everything series by Carrie Lonsdale. And so uh, these are all used, like, pre-loved books. Some of them have, like, Goodwill stickers on them, um, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. I got all these books for, like... $40 or something um which individually individually they would probably each be like 10 bucks if I bought them at Target so I got those I got another book by um Leanne Mor Moriarty What Alice Forgot and this is the author of Big Little Lies and The Husband's Secret which I read and I really really like that book so it says soon to be a major motion picture I don't know if it already is like I'm honestly not sure how old this book is so I'll have to check that out and then I got two Lisa Jewell books um this is a um an author that I've read before um so I got Invisible Girl and Watching You and so she's like a thriller type of author and then this is actually my book I just took that over um but yeah so I have other books coming as well so I have to add these to my bookcase but yeah if you want to buy like pre-loved books thrift books I downloaded the app but it's also like a website so yeah it's a good way to get books really cheap I love when Moki waits for me outside the bathroom hi Moki <laughs> I haven't been feeling very well, so Moki's been taking care of me and Alyssa. And today, for lunch, I'm gonna make this every plate meal. We just signed up for every plate, and so far, I really, really like it. It's a lot less expensive than the other um, food like box services and I'm pretty sure it's owned by HelloFresh like they have similar meals and like their app is practically the same so I'm making this Cacio e Pepe um, like lunch well I'm having it for lunch it seems pretty easy so I'm gonna make that today hopefully this will help me feel better this looks so good it was so easy definitely something you could make easily at home like without um getting the meal kit but it, you could also add meat to it but it, it's just vegetarian not vegan because it has cheese and stuff but i also added these porcini mushroom flakes that i got from wegmans a while ago it's like a grinder and I just thought that would help bring out the mushroom flavor even more so if you love mushrooms definitely check this meal out I haven't made an afternoon coffee in a while but I really really need it today and I went a little more fancy I actually frothed my milk and I've been getting oat milk lately um, and it froths really well which is impressive um, and I put some of the Ghirardelli caramel sauce in it. I might top it with it depending on how like I don't know how much I <laughs> put in you know what I mean like I don't want it to be too sweet and I'm still obsessed with the Dunkin extra extra creamer. I just do a splash of that and then milk or creamer. Normally I don't do like any extra syrups or anything so this is my afternoon treat when your Friday afternoon meeting is canceled. <laughs> I'm 
so relieved right now, you guys. You have no idea. Like, literally, we were gonna have a almost two-hour meeting starting at 2 p.m. on a Friday. Like, and it's April Fool's, so it just feels like, wow, joke's on us, you know? And it just got canceled. Oh my god, best feeling ever. And I feel like that's just what I needed because <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I think it's just allergies. I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys. I feel like um, March is always like a bad month for my allergies and it just became April. So I'm hoping April's not a bad month for my allergies, but it probably is. I'm just allergic to everything and everywhere. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I am just so happy to get that meeting cancellation. Oh, there's just no better feeling. <laughs> Look, I'll show our Costco haul. So many new things to smell. We stocked up on everything, you guys. We got so many yummy sounding things. Cauliflower bites with sunflower seeds and organic white cheddar cheese. It was my first trip. Oh yeah, Alyssa's never been there. So we went insane. Um, teriyaki pineapple chicken meatballs. That sounds so good. Oh, Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna eat it straight. <laughs> and the caramelized onion and gruyere dip. So oh my god. If you have any cheese recommendations, let Alyssa know. Oh, this or is if my. They ever have cheese. Oh, yeah. Tell us if they have Asiago <laughs> cheese at Costco. This is my best discovery Maine lobster ravioli for $10 for like literally two huge portions. Oh my god, I can't. Um, Mexican. <laughs> Street flautas. I can't wait to make those. <gasps> These we're gonna have tonight. Macaron um, <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Uh, let's see. Avocado mash. <gasps> Cookies galore. Macadamia oatmeal chocolate, oatmeal raisin, and chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get Alyssa hooked on snappers. <laughs> they know about snappers. I got two huge bags. Oh yeah, Thin Min oh, pretzels, that sounds amazing. And they're legit Girl Scout. Um, mini Belgian waffles, you guys, individually wrapped. Yeah, I had to get those. And Alyssa's Peace Day Resistance strawberries and cream <laughs> popcorn. We need a taste test of that. Oh yeah, and Everything bagels with a lot of seasoning because Alyssa's that she gets are always so pathetic. And we're trying the chicken, chicken bake from the like Costco restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, but it was at the checkout and they were only $2.99 and they are ginormous. So <laughs> we're watching the Love Island UK. What season is this? Three. Season three finale. I've never watched this show until Alyssa, and now I'm so hooked. I love it. And then we're having our chicken bakes, and it tastes so good with the Jose Cuervo strawberry margarita, the ready-to-drink version. Absolutely incredible. Okay, you guys, we're going to do our taste test. So there's so many good-sounding flavors. We have raspberry, peaches and cream, lemon and yuzu, pistachio, blueberry. I just choked and died over how excited I am, and intense chocolates so we'll tell you which ones are fave monkey's in my seat she won't move she's so mean <laughs> all of her feet are together are you gonna move so i can sit there do i have to sit on you yeah what the heck wow i guess i'm gonna have to sit in your bed she's like that's fine bye <laughs> So I'm gonna use this chill mode mask from Patchology tonight. This is one of their hydrogel masks and it's a calming face mask with cannabis sativa seed oil and reishi extract and all sorts of other relaxing types of ingredients. And this is one of those that's like two pieces, which is really, really nice. Um, and I'm just gonna wear this while I work on my vlog that I have to post tomorrow and my skin has just been not too pleased with me lately I think just stress and all that good stuff 
um but the macaroons were really really good my favorite oh it's hard to talk while putting this on my favorite macaroon flavor is always pistachio um because i never feel like the chocolate ones are chocolatey enough <laughs> and the um blueberry was actually pretty good but i wouldn't say it was like my favorite but they were very like nice for being like a big pack for not too much money at um costco so those were definitely fun and um Alyssa has really gotten me into reality tv so we were watching love island love that show um and i just like watch it like a few episodes every season um when like she's watching it and i'm around but she watches it like there's so many episodes it's insane um so i really enjoy <laughs> enjoyed the um 2017 season that was the one we were just watching um the finale of and then we caught up on siesta key which is like if you loved like laguna beach and the hills and stuff it's like the current version of that and some of the characters i love some of them i love to hate you know how it goes and then temptation island i cannot believe i like this show because the concept i was like what is like up with these people like why would you go on that like it's basically a couple decides to go to this island where they like effectively are like broken up and they live with like the opposite gender and they get to like see what it's like to be single and if they want to like stay in their relationship or not and i was like oh my god this is horrible but it really makes sense when you realize like the situations these couples are in and I don't know if the host is like a marriage counselor or something but he actually has really good like perspectives on things so I really enjoyed it surprisingly because I was so adamantly against it but then when I watched it I was like wow this is actually pretty interesting so that's when we caught up on and now I realize that I didn't do my description box or thumbnail for my vlog that goes up in the morning so I have to go do that and then hopefully I'll be able to have some time to just read and relax but I'm glad I'm feeling better than I was um, yesterday. I was literally down for the count completely and it was kind of freaky <laughs> like I felt so dead it was like insane. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog here and I'll definitely see you guys this weekend. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!